Hi guys and thanks for watching again. As you can see this is an LED projector beamer as we call it in the Netherlands and my question about this have I been scammed and let me show you why I think that I'll switch to my computer screen. Now, the reason why I think I've, well, not why I think, the reason why I feel I've been scammed is about this. Here it says 3000 lumens, 1080p, LED projector HD, HD, multimedia, home cinema, VGA, HDMI, USB, SD, AV, ATV. Now, as you can see, this is a, was an auction. My winning bid was 25 cents, so that's not really. <laughs> uh, high <laughs> but the shipping is 56 dollars now it says item location is uh, ca california united states but that was clearly not the case it was just china and the reason why it is not an actual scam um so i i thought i i saw the let me first tell you why i bought this i saw this the, the, the winning uh, currently winning bid was 20 cents as the moment I started bidding and I saw 3000 lumens and 1080p LED projector and I would and I thought by myself well that that's that's actually that's a nice deal if, even for this 56 dollars um, that that's a great that's a good deal so I uh, yeah bid an, an amount of money and then I became the winning bid, and the uh, auction ended in a couple of minutes, and I was uh, I had to, this object. I was the winning bidder. Now, if I had looked further, I would have seen this: native resolution 320 times 240. Now, that is not even close to 1080p because that's 9, 1920 times 1080. And when I've looked even further, if I did that before bidding, I would have seen this again, native resolution, and this, brightness, 48 lumens. I mean, what the fuck? 3000 lumens versus the actual 48? Now, this, this feels like a total scam to me, because shipping $56 from China is, that's not what it costs. And... This is not 3000 lumens, it's 48 and the resolution is 1 sixth. So that's why I think it is a scam. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch back to the camera. So there we go. So I've paid a total of uh, a little bit more than $56.24. Exactly, not a little bit more, exactly that. So let's see what's inside. And again, on the box, there is uh, resolution, RC solution, 320 times 240, and brightness is 48 lumens. Now, I've contact contacted the seller, of course, and I said, hey, I, I feel I've been scammed. Uh, although you uh, actually listed the real resolution and the real uh, number of lumens, so a 50% refund of the shipping cost uh, would sound reasonable to me but he said no we're not going to do that you can get a refund of ten dollars so that's at least something but well i thought forget about it i made the mistake so i take my loss that's what i'm going to do now of course this makes a beautiful youtube video because this is the actual beamer very tiny beamer with an LED inside of course power supply which is 12 volt 2 amps and there's also uh, this is also a nice nice story you see this uh, CE marking which normally would mean CE and that would mean it is uh, rated to uh, rated it is um, yeah it is how do you say that in, in English meant for the Europe European market market and it uh, yeah it's just all the safety precautions which are here in Europe that is it complies with that 
But with that logo on there, the real uh, European um, trademark is the C and the E are two circles which just fit right next to each other. And this, the C and the E are way too close together, but the logo looks exactly the same. So this looks as if it is meant for the Euro European market, but what the Chinese did, they named this CE logo China Export. So it looks as if it is absolutely safe and meant for the European market, but it's not. It is just China Export. And I'm looking around currently to see if I have any European device. Yeah, of course I do. I don't know if you can see that this is my Galaxy S8. There's the CE, and if you, it is very, very hard to see, but if you make that C a total circle, you see that it barely touches, the, uh, or completely touches the E, and here it is way close, more close together, so that's what I meant. That's what all the Chinese do, and people they think, well, this is actually a safe product, but it's not, forget about that. A remote. So all this for $56 still does not really sound bad. Oh, this needs batteries. So forget about that. Chinese manual. Let's see if I can find a, uh, some wall outlet. What's in here? A V in. And this is probably also the first time that you see I'm not wearing a long sleeve shirt because it's currently very hot in the Netherlands, about 30 degrees outside. And uh, yeah, that's why I'm wearing only this. <laughs> um, let's see, I've got an HDMI cable already over here. And let's see if I can turn it on. Mm, is there an on button somewhere? First, let's see, there's a headphone plug, DC in. VGA, infrared in, HDMI in, USB, composite, and SD. So that's a whole lot of options for such a small and actually cheap beamer. So let's press some buttons randomly. It's probably not going to do anything until I plug this in. Uh, there is the power button. Hello. <laughs> so... There it is, doing something. Now, you're probably as blown away by the huge amount of light output of this beamer as, as I am currently, because this is, oh, I'm overwhelmed. This is astonishing. This is awesome, but it's blue. Let's see if I can have some white paper over here, which I don't know if that's entirely within the reach of the camera. So let me get this a little bit more out of the way. and. Well, I'm going to uh, search for a white wall and then do some more of this video before I uh, continue. But let, let's first, let's see if I can uh, can cut it actually to input my PC, which is currently connected. Well, it is displaying something. Hmm, but it's unreadable. So... I'm going to find a white wall in my house and then I'm going to demonstrate this product and I'll be back in a moment. Now this is the image projected on my wall. It's about 80 centimeters wide and about 60 centimeters high. It, just a wild guess. I'm not, not sure that it is. And the Beamer reports as a 720p input, uh, available input. But uh, as you can see it, it just ignores some pixels because Windows, this, this is the exact same page you just saw uh, with, with which I recorded with the screen recorder and you can just see that this is the eBay page but it is missing something on top it's missing something on the left, not at the bottom because the entire Windows taskbar is there and the right seems complete too although I'm not exactly sure uh, the top right Let's, let's zoom in actually, I'm, oh, oh, I'm actually moving my phone 
near my wall and you can actually see that uh, the wallpaper is, uh, is, is foamy bubbly it's not entirely flat wall but that thing there on the right a yellowish thing looks like the eBay card now it's just ignoring pixels it's not scaling down properly it is just reporting as a 720p device well the maximum resolution is 240 pixels so that's three times less than the input is currently fed to the to, to the beamer now it is entirely dark in my, my room right now in my man cave so the image for, for the camera is pretty good but for me for, for the naked eye it is okay-ish I can probably watch a movie on this but it is rather dimly and yeah <laughs> I'm going to move my phone close to the text so you can actually see what uh, what it says and you can probably also see my phone now uh, which I'm holding right now <laughs> in, the, in the shadow so let's see so you can see how the text looks and how this beamer scales that down so probably watching a movie is doable but not more than that and watching photos it would be fine too if you're happy with 320 by 240 pixels so I'm currently getting a tired arm so I'm going to switch back to my desk and break this beamer open so here it is let's get it open now it's actually warmish actually surprised me because uh, it's just a simple LED I don't know uh, what what the power output of the LED is but it doesn't feel that much to me but now I can't, can't cut this open because my screw bit is not uh, not not small enough so that's probably going to be a problem I will have to look for a smaller screwdriver be back in a moment now it is done it is open and there is the main circuit board the lens uh, which can be moved a little bit outwards and on the bottom there it says 12 volts the DC 2 amps image unit is LCD and the lamp is LED there's a China export logo again and the ROHS reduction of hazardous shit or hazardous stuff or, or anything so let's get the main circuit board out um, but here we see the fan I don't know if you heard that in, in, the, in the video I ah, can move it out like that it's just loose in there then the LED is probably mounted on here and then that at least that's my guess the light of the LED goes that way then would turn some sort of mirror on here 45 degree angle here the actual LCD unit another mirror and the image goes out that's my guess not sure maybe it's way simpler than that that's <laughs> that could be possible with this unit so let's see there's a ribbon cable or something like that which I can move out like this and then we see more plastic there's a connector over here which I'm trying to remove so we can get this out of the way more more plastics now what's this oh that's the speaker because when connected to HDMI it can also produce sound awful sound I guess but because it's a tiny tiny speaker in a plastic case that's not gonna do right to the sound but and I hope that this is just uh, some protection buffer which I can now get off which I can so yeah that is I'm right there's the LED there's a mirror there is the LCD screen light goes through and then there's another mirror which goes out exactly like this 
but I am quite interested in that LED. Why would such a, a low power LED, at least it feels very low power to me, need this amount of cooling? That's, that's, that's ridiculous. It's 48 lumens. I mean, my, my guess was actually that there was a 3 watt LED in there. But by the look of this, that can actually be a 10 watt LED. Would a 10 watt LED be in there? Oh. I'm just very curious right now. There we go. Oh shit. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh 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 oh. This is the cable for the LCD screen and all kinds of stuff came out. One mirror. Let's see if we can put it back in there. This is a mirror, right? Yeah, it is. I wanted to keep this this unit intact. Let's put it upside down and let's get this lens. If it is like that, it probably would came out like this. Put it back in there. Let's see if the other one is exactly the same like that. It's a little bit different. Because the, the center of this, le this lens seems to be at the bottom, so I hope that I'm putting it, it back in the correct position. And if not, it needs to get op be, be opened again. But this mirror is this uh, the exact same dimension. No, it's a little bit shorter. Then that would fit here. And the other one would probably be mounted there. Correct. Now, what's below this this lens? Capacitor. Is it a resistor? No, I cannot see it clearly, so let's see if I can remove this lens. All different kinds of screws. Well, that actually just looks like a 10 watt LED. 10 watt that could be possible, 2 amps, very well be possible. 9 chips in there. So yeah, that, that's quite a powerful LED. So why then that low light output of the beamer? I was hoping that there would be some 3 watt LED in there and, uh, and I can upgrade it to 10 watt LEDs, but it, that's already there. So no need to upgrade that. Let's see if I can put a 100 watt LED under, under there. but. That would be a little bit too tiny. So yeah, that's the inside of this very cheap uh, Beamer. And uh, yeah, what I'm going to do, and um, I'm currently probably at around 370 subscribers, YouTube subscribers. And when I reach the 500, I'm going to do a giveaway and everything I've had on this desk will be on that giveaway and I'll, I'll just pick one or two guys uh, which yeah just can pick anything in there uh, and and of this this will be one of that those items so all the led cubes the led canton tower the spherical rotation units this this beamer some power banks probably uh, the led clocks you name it i'll put it in the uh, the 500 subscriber giveaway and yeah this is the end of this video because I'm going to put it back together and see if I did, did it correct one with this, this lens. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.